man. I love okra season, Grandmama. Oh, I do too. Good morning, y'all. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry. And uh, Roy went to the garden this morning and he picked me some little okra. And this is the size that I like to do what I'm going to do this morning. And they're, what I'm doing is called okra crisp. It's quick, it's easy, it is a wonderful, wonderful way for you to have your okra. You don't have to fry it, you don't have to boil it, you just cut the ends off. Now, last time I did it, I didn't cut this little tip off and it got too crispy, so I'm cutting it off today. But you just take your okra. Now, he also brought in a handful of green beans, so I'm going to I'm going to bake my green beans while I'm baking my okra. Uh, so you just cut off both tips. That one's too hard. Okay. If you know anything about okra, it can get too hard. And it's you can hear it when you cut it. It's hard to cut. And you do not want to use that because it, you won't be able to chew it. But I cut off both ends. And then I split it down the middle, like that. And it doesn't all have to be the same size. You can do all different sizes at the same time because it's going to all cook at the same time. I've got my oven behind me set. That one's too hard. It's really, really hot. It was 96 degrees yesterday and 96 the day before. Uh, okra loves hot weather. But sometimes, even when it's small like this, it'll get too hard when it's as hot as it is now. But, uh, oops. But if it's too hard, you just chunk it, just throw it away. So I'm just gonna keep cutting these in half like this. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how I'm going to season them up. It's so quick, so easy, y'all. And a wonderful, wonderful low-carb meal. And so satisfying because they're kind of crisp and crunchy. So, see you back in a minute. Grandmama, okra is on everybody's good list if they're a healthy food eater. It because is. it's it's high fiber. Yep. It's got a lot of nutrition. It's low carb count and it's low carb load or low glycemic load. It, it can be used as a side dish or as a snack. So what is there not to like about okra? And you can also plant it in your flower beds or along the back fence. And it loves hot weather. It needs, it lacks a lot of water because it, uh, it's in the hot weather and uh, a good bit of fertilizer in, but it will make until fall, and it is just a wonderful, uh, healthy food. Okay, I just sprayed it with olive oil, and you want to do that the first thing after you get it on your tray, and this is that little handful of green beans that Roy brought in. So first, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of garlic, not much, just a little bit of garlic on it. I'm not gonna put any salt and I'm not gonna put any pepper because I am using a seasoning today that uh, Philip, my son-in-law, he keeps me in seasonings. He finds something that he really likes and this one is called Lane's Rub Seasoning Spellbound. It's called Spellbound. And I tasted of it, it is so, so good. Y'all know I use Potato Slayer, I use Sweet Preacher. But for you out there, use whatever seasoning you want. You can use everything bagel. You can use just salt, pepper, and garlic. You can use onion powder. Whatever seasonings that you like, you can use garlic and herb. Whatever you like is what you use. And I know some of y'all don't have the seasonings that I do, and I wouldn't have them either if it wasn't for my son-in-law. <laughs> But he knows, he likes to experiment with things and he knows I do too, so. And you can dip them in ranch dressing or some other oh, kind yeah. of dressing if yeah. you like. You can make a dill sauce for them. 
um, stir these up a little bit. All right. You don't have to season them a lot. All right, I think that's about all. Now, these are going in a 400 degree oven, which is preheated behind me, and you cook them until they get as crisp as you want them. Uh, I start checking them at 15 minutes. It's according to really how big your okra is. If it's bigger, it takes longer for it to crisp up. Uh, but you do want it crisp. That's the reason we call it baked okra crisps. And so I'm fixing, I'm about to put these in my oven. And my green beans will cook about the same amount of time as my, well, they will cook the same amount of time as my okra. So as soon as they get crisp, we're going to come back and taste them. All right, y'all. I want to eat them, Grandmama. I know. I'm changing the temperature. Cook them on 425 for 20 to 25 minutes. And watch them close. And watch them closely, yeah. Your smaller ones like this, mmm, they're so crunchy, so good. But your little larger ones, they are delicious. They're, uh, they're not crunchy. But, oh but they're my. still good. Mm -hmm. They they still have that sweet. Mm -hmm. Your crunchy ones don't, don't that doesn't have the sweet like the mm. the bigger ones do. Eat them the like they are, or get mm -hmm. you some ranch dressing. Mm. Mm. A piece of tomato to eat with it. Mm. That is so good. And y'all, I'm these, interested in the green beans. These green beans mm. cook the same way. Hmm. They are delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. They are delicious. If you've never made any green beans like this, mmm, so good. Snack green beans, never heard of it, but they probably, somebody's done it. Just leave these on the stove, and I'm telling you, they'll be gone in no time. People they, just come by. They disappear, mm -hmm. is what I call it. Wonderful, wonderful snack. <laughs> Food feeds the family, family feeds the heart, God feeds the soul, put deliciousness back in healthy food. See y'all next time.